This is episode number one in a series that will be focused on looking at indie games that have just released or are still in development. Games which seem to be doing something new and innovative, but don't necessarily have the marketing budgets of larger developers, and so may not have shown up on your radar. For this first episode, I will be taking a look at the recently released Degrees of Separation. Degrees of Separation was just released, at the time that this video was made anyway, on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2019. It was developed by Moondrop, a small studio based in Norway, and was published by Modus Games. Initially, Moondrop was the winner of Norwegian Nationals in gameplay for Degrees of Separation back in 2014, an award the studio has won three times. But at that time in 2014, the game was only a prototype and not the polished game that we see today. By looking at this footage of the prototype, you can get a rare glimpse into the game creation process and see the early workings of the idea that Moondrop was developing. Although the game was shelved while they worked on Amphora, the studio's first official release, it was brought back and completed for its recent release in 2019. The first thing about Degrees of Separation which caught my eye was its novel co-op gameplay mechanics and the art style that revolves around that mechanic. This split between fire and ice, summer and winter, hot and cold, is the first thing you will probably notice when looking at this footage of the game. These are the two different worlds of Ember and Rhyme. Ember being the female protagonist of the fire world, and Rhyme being the male protagonist of the ice world. These two characters seem to exist in the same space, but are separated by an invisible force and their respective temperatures. By manipulating this force, the characters and players can in turn manipulate the game world and move through the game's obstacles. For example, here, Ember sinks into the water whereas Rhyme simply walks across the frozen ice. You can imagine all of the things which can be done throughout the game to utilize this interesting concept. I chose this indie game for the first episode because it instantly jumped out as something new. Something which has a unique art style but also links that style with the gameplay so well that the two become codependent. This goes even a step further with its co-op gameplay. Playing this game with a significant other could deliver an experience you're just not going to find anywhere else. It's something that I personally have not seen done before and for that reason it stood out to me as I was looking through lists of indie games. The game can be played solo, but it seems like co-op would be the best way to play. Of course, the story is going to be a major factor in the aptly named Degrees of Separation. Novel gameplay mechanics and a beautiful art style are one thing, but to bring the entire package together, an engaging story is needed. To accomplish this, Moondrop looked to writer Chris Avalon. Avalon is known for writing other notable games such as Fallout New Vegas and Prey, as well as many other games in a career that stretches back to 1996. So basically, plenty of talent nothing to worry about. On top of that, Avalon's story is brought to life by voice actress Kira Buckland, who narrates Ember and Rhyme's adventure in a way which feels as though she's reading an old folk tale to a group of children with peaked ears and glowing eyes. There was a growing chill in the air, and the branches stirred in the wind. The storm may have passed, but she knew another was on the way. Based on all of this footage and information and everything I've seen so far, I'm sold. I'm excited to jump in and give this game a go, as well as see what creative things Moondrop comes up with next. Moondrop really seems to be doing something cool here, something really new and innovative. So check them out, check out Degrees of Separation. Degrees of Separation is available now on Steam, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. For more information, follow the developer Moondrop on Twitter at Moondrop Games and the publisher at Modus underscore Games. Let me know if you've played the game already or plan on playing the game, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and keep on supporting indies.